Today on Tau Flare Mouse, we're going to explain why this is not a 30 round high capacity magazine. And we'll also touch on some of the new rules that may affect some of your favorite firearm channels. Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Normally, we're out there filming every week uh, the latest and greatest 12 gauge exotic ammunition. But because of poor weather, just the holidays and all that, it's been difficult to film new stuff. So it's a perfect time to talk about YouTube's new firearm related content rules. So yes, they want to regulate something in the cyber world, something that's already very heavily regulated in the real world. We first have to realize what YouTube considers to be firearms. This includes real guns, fake guns, BB guns, paintball guns, and airsoft guns. Now, had YouTube just gone to the ATF website, they could have seen what the definition of a firearm actually is. It certainly doesn't include paintball guns, BB guns, and airsoft guns, nor does it include antique style black powder muzzle loader type firearms. I do agree that one should use proper safety equipment when using paintball guns or airsoft guns, and you should use safety equipment when using any type of gun or power tool, but just because it has gun in the title doesn't make it a firearm. And it just gets weirder from here. Non and semi-automatic and unmodified guns shown in a safe environment, blah, 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 blah. I would love to think that in the 21st century, we all know what a semi-automatic is. Uh, I have no idea what a non-semi-automatic is. Are they talking about a single shot rifle, a bolt action rifle, a double barrel shotgun, or maybe even a fully automatic machine gun? We're not really clear what the heck they're talking about here. Another head scratcher is what YouTube considers to be a modified gun. In the real world, we have to abide by real world laws. This includes, you know, possession of a sawed off shotgun or converting a gun to shoot full automatic. I think it's safe to say that most of us would think it'd be kind of stupid to post an incriminating video of you using an illegal firearm on YouTube. But from my own experience, I've learned that YouTube considers a flashlight mounted on a gun or a laser mounted on a gun or even a side saddle, you know, that thing that holds the extra shells on a shotgun as being a modified firearm. Now, apparently YouTube consulted a staff member who played a little bit of Call of Duty and got owned pretty bad by a guy with a flashlight on a gun at one time. So they considered it to be a modified firearm. Bruh. Now I think that if we're making videos about a firearm or a airsoft gun or anything, even a, a power tool, one should exercise and promote general safety. I mean, are there actually people out there filming themselves shooting each other with steel BBs out of their Red Rider BB gun? I mean, it takes some big cojones to do that, but who does that? Who shoots each other with BB guns? Oh wait, we're on YouTube, I almost forgot. And then finally, we have the big no-no category. If your content contains any of this stuff, you, you're probably going to get demonetized or get a strike or, or something. Now, again, I remind you that we're talking about real or fake guns. Now, these are just non-tangible images on your computer screen. So according to YouTube's own rules, this should apply to Hollywood movies, video games, or documentaries, or just someone making a fake paper gun with a 30-round magazine. Now, I'll be honest, I have no idea what they think thermal ammunition is or what a hair trigger is. But someone please take the YouTube staff out to a firing range and just let them shoot a gun just one time. I mean, a lot of this is would be like asking me to come up with rules on how to apply makeup. I'd probably screw it up pretty badly. And finally, we have to address what YouTube considers large capacity magazines, 30 rounds or more. Now, yeah, there are a lot of states where large capacity, also known as uh, standard capacity magazines, are completely legal. But granted, there are some states that ban high capacity magazines and definitely a lot of countries that also ban them. But we definitely know that YouTube believes that 30 rounds or more in a magazine is a really bad thing. Now, it doesn't take a high priced lawyer, a chess master or a mathematician to realize that anything less than 30 must be acceptable. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the YouTube compatible 29 round magazine. It may only be one less, but it complies completely with YouTube's new rules. 
the 29 round magazine has something most hunters are familiar with, especially like in shotguns, a device called a plug. The plug physically limits how much ammo you can put in a magazine. Now even though the plug is just a simple piece of plastic or wood, it allows someone with a, a magazine capacity of more than, let's say, two rounds to use their shotgun legally while out hunting. And if a game warden catches you without a plug in your shotgun, it's serious trouble. This is really good news for video creators on how to stay compliant on this platform. Now when you're producing content with a potentially questionable magazine, I think it's important to let your viewers and most importantly YouTube know that you are using a compatible compliant magazine. I could see how YouTube might not be able to tell the difference between a five round or a 30 round magazine. So make sure you let them know. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.